Hello, hello, everybody. It's uh, your boys, Tom and Ron again. <laughs> Peace uh, <up>. Yeah, <laughs> or that. Um, it's Tom and Ron, and we have a very special guest today. It's uh, none other. Uh, we've had a great guest here, but I think we have today a very special guest, none other than our spiritual father. Um, we he goes by a very, he goes by many names, <laughs> whether dad, whether Apostle Guillermo Maldonado, or I still hear some of the ladies call him pastor. pastor come pastor. on, <laughs> or he just he goes by AGM. But this is our spiritual father. This is our papa. This is our dad. Yeah. Um, and we have a we have the privilege and honor of actually you know taking him hostage for thirty <laughs> minutes and giving us the time yeah, and, and try to get everything we you can know, out of yeah, him. Yeah, and just really just like talk about some stuff we have. Have a really exciting um, topic for today, which is the Holy Spirit. Um, obviously, it's so extensive. I know he can talk about this for hours. We can talk <laughs> about this for hours, but um, we, we do we do have a, a couple things that we want to get into. But um, first and foremost, Dad, how are you? Thank Doing good. <laughs> thank you so much. That was a good introduction. Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no, thank you so much. You know, I went to one time. I went to uh, Tia Losburn uh, house. T.L. Osborne was what, one of the generals and the uh, pioneer in massive evangelism. Mm. And he had some massive crusades. He was the one that found the founder. And uh, I was in his house, and he said to me, I said, uh, T.L., how do you call yourself? Are you an apostle? Are you teacher? Are you reverend? <laughs> Where are you? He goes, son, he looked at me. He said, son, it doesn't matter how you look, how you call yourself. What matters is when you speak to the blind, the blind can oh, say, I on. can see, come I on. can see. Amen. Wow. He said, the, what matter is when you speak to the deaf, the deaf can say, I can hear, I can hear. Wow. So he gave Amen. me a big lesson, you know. <laughs> so we're not into titles. We do that, you know, call apostles, teacher, evangelists, whatever it is, just as a matter of honor. It's good. Amen. Not because we're looking for titles. Yeah. I think the most important is the exaltation of the person Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. And today we got a very good uh, theme and topic about the necessity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, what are the youth thinking about the Holy Spirit? So do you tell me? I'm here to ask. <laughs> yeah, so take um, obviously we can go into a lot of yeah, different directions. So many avenues. Um, I think um, for us, I think me and Tom would probably define uh, the Holy Spirit a little differently than you. And I say that in the best way, shape and form. And the reason why I say it is because growing up in high school and college, the Holy Spirit meant something else to me now than what it means to me now. Yeah. So I'm sure the Holy Spirit, 20, 30, 40 years into, you know, knowing God, I think 30, 30 plus for you, knowing the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. like what's, I would say, how would you define the Holy Spirit? And, and number two, it would be, what is that for you? Because a lot of people maybe know, you know, of God, but like, like, mm -hmm. like what we've talked about numerous times in our ministry and in our church and on, on services and with our leaders, a lot of people know of God, but they don't know God. Mm -hmm. So then introducing that, maybe you can like tap into like, what is the Holy Spirit for you? Because again, for me, when I was 17, it's definitely different, <laughs> you know, from that 10 years later, you know? And, and, and I think for those people that are watching, um, there's so many people, especially young people, and even the church, the adults in church, uh, they think the Holy Spirit is what the Holy Spirit does, like his power, like the gifts, like they think tongues, they mm. think the Holy Spirit's tongue, the Holy Spirit's power. Well, the Holy Spirit, if I define it, is hard to define God. No. Because first, the Holy Spirit is the third person of deity, mm. of the Trinity of God. Mm. Amen. The Father is our Heavenly Father, the creator of heaven and earth. And the, the, son, the Son, which is Jesus Christ, the one that died on the cross, and the Holy Spirit that comes to testify about the Father and about Jesus. So I would say it's the third person of the Holy Spirit. And I can go from there, the functions of the Holy Spirit on the earth. The Holy Spirit is to us what Jesus was to his disciples. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Amen. he is alive. He's not a force. He's not a wind. He moves like a wind, but he's not a wind. Mm -hmm. 
he moves like water, but he's not a water. Mm -hmm. So there's some aspects, symbols that represent him. And many people think that if a wind or oil came... Like representations of him. Yeah, manifestation. Yeah. I would say manifestation. They think, oh, that's the Holy Spirit. No, the Holy Spirit is a person. Mm -hmm. That means he has will, he has emotions, and he has mind. Mm -hmm. So many people confuse and they say, well, is an it. The <laughs> Jehovah Witness think is an it. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And it's not in it, it's a person. Mm. As a matter of fact, is the most sensitive person of the Trinity. Mm. Mm. Jesus said, whatever you speak against the Father, it will be forgiven to you. Whatever you speak against me, it will be forgiven. But if you speak against the Holy Spirit, oh, wow. I didn't know that. it will never be forgiven. In other words, that's what it's called the blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Mm. Oh. And the blaspheming is nothing more than speak against and number one, blaspheme is to accredit something to God, to the devil, something the Holy Spirit did. Mm -hmm. Oh, those tongues are not from God. Those tongues are from this. And accusing the Holy Spirit of something that he's not. Mm -hmm. So they said that sin will never be forgiven. So mm -hmm. defining the Holy Spirit is a person. We need to have communion with him. We need to have we need to have relationship with him. That's good. Mm -hmm. Because without him, we will not be able to know the Father mm -hmm. and to know Jesus, even his word. Mm -hmm. And the Bible calls him the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. The Bible calls him the spirit of life, the comforter, the counselor, mm -hmm. the helper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, without the Holy Spirit. The church is an institution. Oh. And 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 I and that's something I want to get into, Dad, just because it's crazy to me how how even in scripture when Jesus comes, he he's born, he comes to the earth, you know, he starts doing everything, he starts doing his ministry. But every time he talks about the Father, or he talks about himself, or he talks about the Father, the Holy Spirit's always included in there. Uh -huh. And of course, people overlook it or or whatever. And that's something I wanted to get into because in John chapter 14. He's basically saying, hey, look, I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to leave. Mm -hmm. Guys, he's talking to the disciples. And I love what you said. Mm -hmm. You said that that the Holy Spirit to us is what Jesus was for the disciples. Mm -hmm. And here he is talking to the disciples. And he's saying, hey, look, I, and that very thing, I would love for us to get into that as to what what now that we know who the Holy Spirit is, it's a person. Now that, now that you explain that maybe to dive a little deeper into what he's here for. It's because in, in, in John chapter 14, it says, these things I have spoken to you. Let's wow. go to the Bible. Young people, let's go to the Bible. <laughs> yes. Uh, John 14, 26. Yeah, yeah, it's 25. So these things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the helper, the Holy Spirit... Uh -huh whom the Father will send in my name. So already Jesus, the Son, is talking about the Holy Spirit coming in the name of the Father. So they are the Trinity, like you said. And he will teach you and bring, he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all that I have said to you. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's a huge moment for the disciples. Uh -huh. And I would like to maybe dive a little deeper into that moment and what that moment looks like and how we apply that to us on basically the holy spirit like what is he like okay now i know who he is now i know what he came now i know he's coming so mm. how does that apply to my life okay it is uh, for example when jesus said i will give you another counselor he didn't say i'm gonna give you another it <laughs> he said another of the same kind mm -hmm. yeah in other words that holy spirit has emotions will and mind mm. so um and then he said, he talked about, he said, I'll give you another counselor. And then one of his function on the earth is to be the helper. And the helper means that without him, we literally uh, cripple, spiritually cripple. Mm. Wow, come we're on. literally yep. mentally confused. Mm -hmm. We're literally and comatose. We're literally, those are descriptions of, of the Bible when it comes to the help of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Life without him, pretty much. Yeah, there's no life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If the Holy Spirit is not a place. And and why I'm saying the way I'm saying it, because in this generation, this when I'm saying this generation, not only young people, I'm talking about in general. This generation, whoever is alive now. The age is, that we're living in now, yeah. Is is this generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 
when he comes to this generation, the Bible says, and the natural man does not receive and understand mm. the, the things, things of the spirit of, yeah. the spirit That's of good. God. Mm. So the question is, what are the things of the spirit of God? Mm. Because the things of the spirit of God are things that are related to his functions on the earth. So one of the functions of the Holy Spirit is to, it, the Bible calls him the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. And truth is something that is being combating now. Mm -hmm. There's a conflict on the atmosphere, even in the world, even in the church, about truth. Mm -hmm. And he is the one that leads us into all truth. So if we apply it, in that moment, the disciple think, wow, he's leaving. And he tell us that he will be with us because Jesus as man was limited physically. Mm. In a body, a person, physical, he was limited to one place. He mm. couldn't be in many places. Yeah. So he said, I, this is going to be an advantage to you because I'm going to send you someone that can be in every place no. mm. and every time Mm. And every moment. Yeah, we, we didn't need to go to, you know, <laughs> the we need to go to an event here to find that one person there. Yeah. Like he's everywhere. So the Holy Spirit is everywhere. So Jesus now is everywhere because as man, he was limited yeah. for mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. But after he resurrected, you know, he came back to deity. He's God. He's everywhere. Mm -hmm. But now he said, I'm going to leave you the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit will be with you. And... That means all the things of the Spirit. What are the things of the Spirit? The person of the Holy Spirit? The gifts of the Holy Spirit? Mm. Because today, where do you see the gifts of the Holy Spirit in operation? <laughs> Nowhere. Yeah, my church. <laughs> yeah, because the church doesn't want the things of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm. We want something that we can see, we can touch, more physical, visible. The, the natural senses. The natural that are, senses, that are, yeah. the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the Holy Spirit, his nature is holy. Mm -hmm. But spirit is, is the word spirit is breath, mm -hmm. is the holy breath of God, is invisible, is intangible. Even he can manifest in wings and water, but he is intangible. So we have to discern. Mm -hmm where the Holy Spirit is. You, you understand? Yeah, I have a question. That Did the Holy Spirit, I know obviously existed before Jesus, but yes. was it in operation in the same fashion as it is nowadays before uh, Jesus? Well, no. The limit, yes, that's a good question. First, you saw the Father in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. And then we saw also the Holy Spirit after the beginning, after Genesis, we saw the Holy Spirit coming upon three types of people. Kings, mm. priests, and, prophet. and prophets. Oh, wow. Yeah. He only came to do something. Mm -hmm. The prophet wanted to prophesy. The Holy Spirit came. He prophesied, wow. and he went. He left. That's a good example of that. And then when Jesus came back, he came upon Jesus as a in dove. his birth. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then his ministry as a dove. Mm -hmm. So you see him in operation, all of them, the three working together. Mm, yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. I, I think a, a good a good example of, of just him coming upon is in Samson. Uh -huh. Samson, the Bible's so clear that he, the Holy Spirit comes upon him. And then every time he he would do stuff, crazy things, he would, you know, slay with a donkey's jaw, he would uh -huh. he tore the temple. It's it, uh -huh. every time he would say the Spirit of the Lord would come upon him. Yeah. So if you for example, there's three things that the people has rejected. And I'm saying the church, not all the church. Because there's some people that love the Holy Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Mm. So the person, the gifts, and his power. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So when it comes to his power, this generation wants to present God as a powerless God to adapt it to society. Mm. Because when you present yourself as a powerful man of God, meaning used by the Holy Spirit, not your power, mm -hmm. and then you see that people don't like that, it's offensive. Mm -hmm. So you see that's a lot of people right now that are watching. For example, the gifts of the Spirit. The gifts of the Spirit, the three, uh, three levels of the gifts. The revelation gifts, the power gifts, and also the uh, 
the the speaking gifts. Mm -hmm. And then when the Holy Spirit moved, what happened today in church is that we have not made room for him to move. Mm -hmm. For example, we here talking about the Holy Spirit, but we need to make room for him to move. Yeah. Because he's a gentleman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's never going to say, Tommy, get out of here. He doesn't do impose. He just, he's so gentleman. He's mm -hmm. so gentle. And and a great example of, of the Bible that shows how the Holy Spirit is is when he descended on Jesus, when uh -huh. he got baptized as a dove. Uh -huh. He descended the as a dove. The dove represents the nature of the Holy Spirit. He's not a dove, but he represents a <laughs> yes. nature of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> want to make sure he's made, not a dove. You, you know, know, but he represents yeah, a symbol yeah. that his meekness, his, his gentle. Mm -hmm. For example, I can see right now the gifts and operation. If I say Holy Spirit... Show me or reveal something of somebody watching right now. And I can, I can tell you what is happening. There is a young man. You are 20 years old. And you've been tried to commit suicide three times. Mm. And then you've been watching. And this just jump on your phone. You, don't even, you weren't even connected to this podcast. You don't even know, but something supernatural came into your phone because God wants to save your life Amen. three times. How do I know that? Mm. How do we know that? Mm. That's the gifts of the Holy Spirit Amen. revealing. So the Holy Spirit moves when he's revealing something. Mm -hmm. He reveals when he's doing something. Yeah. For example, there's somebody there that had, um, he has the... Um, when he doesn't have the arch. Oh, he's flat foot. Flat foot. Flat foot. There's somebody with flat foot. And for somebody that is not flat foot, he said, oh, that's nothing. Well, not to that person. Yeah. Because it causes a lot of pain. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I see that person with uh, something that you put in the in the shoes mm -hmm. to hold her. And God is, is creating the curvature now. Amen. Yeah. And Jesus name, what, what the Holy Spirit is doing. He's doing something. Mm -hmm. He chose to reveal something. He's doing something. But you know what? God will use you to prophesy to somebody. Yeah, and, and the Holy Spirit's moving even now. I, I also them. feel that there's someone. I see no, you, tell them. You, tell them you, you have a... You have Over a, here, wherever the camera yeah, is. <laughs> we got a couple. <laughs> we got three. Um, the, you have your car broke down, and you're gonna lose your job if you don't get if you don't un, if you don't if you can't get to places. And I feel like God's gonna provide for you financially. And I even see that 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 whatever happened to your car costs. I think it's like around eighteen hundred dollars. And I'm seeing that God is gonna supernaturally provide for you in that area because I feel like you've been stressed. You've been trying to figure out to ways to get to work, and you didn't know how. And I I just feel like God is going to do a miracle in your life where he's going to give you, where he's going to, whether it's it's fix that car or give you a new car, I just feel a miracle is coming for that person as well. How do you know that? I just perceived Not it. Not tell the people. I just perceived it and yeah, I, I felt the what Holy is Spirit that? It's the gifts of the Spirit. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We don't, we don't make room. If you don't make room, if you're preaching on Friday, if you're preaching on Friday, you preach, you preach, you preach, and then you do the announcements, but you never stop to say, Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to somebody? Mm -hmm. And it will come his voice. Sometimes you will hear something. Sometimes you will see something. So one time you just know something. Yeah. Yeah. For example, Man. you want to talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah. actually, it's crazy what he was saying. Yeah. I was yeah. feeling as well. Um, there's a girl watching. You're, a, you're, you're like probably in your 20s, uh -huh. and um, you've your whole life you've gone through a lot of pain, mm -hmm. and you're at a breaking point in your life where you're saying, yes. "I can't do this anymore. I want to give up. Yes. I'm done." And you've stumbled upon this podcast, and I think just like Apostle was saying, you don't really normally watch this at all, but you just somehow Come got on. connected, and I feel like the Lord is saying He's gonna start to heal your heart, and it's no coincidence that you're watching this right now. The Lord is speaking to you. You're you're starting to cry right now, and you yes, just feel the, in Jesus' name, your yes, presence God, comes man. over her. Come on, the yes. Lord is gonna heal your heart, and I just hear the Lord say, yes. "Come into commun in yes. communion with your heavenly Father." He's yes. been calling you back for a while, yes. and the Lord is yes, gonna Lord. restore everything, Shut and He's on. gonna replace Shut. everything the devil has taken away from you. See, how do you know that? Holy Spirit. If anybody told you or you have got something that is, is telling you in your ear, <laughs> it, it, it just, it, it's just supernatural. The way we can explain it is supernatural. Supernatural. The supernatural is above and beyond reason. Mm -hmm. If you start reasoning, he said, 
Like, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Can you imagine God concerned about a young person that can't pay his bills? Yeah. And somebody said, oh, that's nothing. Yeah, no, for, <laughs> for that them. person. For you, maybe. <laughs> for You're there. Person, because yeah. the gifts is whoever need, you need in that moment. Amen. You know, there's a lot of cases, and 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 I will say, I'm going to open for you to ask any other question mm-hmm. that you have. <laughs> Before we finish, too, there's someone that I feel like your daughter, she has um, a stigmatism, or she has, like, Come those on. really thick, what I'm Can seeing is... Music? What, I, what I'm seeing is really thick, bi, like bifocals, like really thick glasses where she can't Come on. see. Come on. And uh, you, you and your husband, I feel like it's a, it's a woman watching me, and yes. you and your husband believing for a miracle. Yes. Father, Holy Spirit, we just pray right now, Lord, a miracle in her eyes, Lord. Yes, Be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we just ask, and I just feel God is just going to start moving, and she's not going to need those glasses. By the time you watch this, she's not going to need Come those on. glasses. I believe in the that. name of in Jesus. Jesus name. You, if you're watching, you just need to believe it by faith Amen. because don't limit god to distance yeah. to time Amen. oh Amen. he's in miami don't don't limit god god is everywhere the holy spirit is everywhere and you know i wanted to open more for question but the moment you start talking the holy spirit said no <laughs> yeah let's keep Come moving yeah. in that direction but see listen guys you both of you he's my natural son he's my spiritual son but i both i see them like my natural son yeah i love both of them but i want you to see guys over there that what make you distinct to other people is signs and wonders Mm -hmm. and signs and wonders can happen just for happening the holy spirit amen will bring those signs and wonders in other words if you want to be one of the bunch we're just good, good teaching, yeah. and that's good, and we're not despising that. Yeah. But what makes the supernatural the Holy people Spirit. that are, yeah, it's the Holy Spirit, for example. Yeah. I see there are a lot of youth leaders watching, Amen. and I want you to, the Holy Spirit moves doing something, revealing something. Now, it just revealed their youth leaders watching. Hmm. They're discouraged, they're oppressed, they're oh. depressed. So you're going to minister to them. Tomito, you're going to minister to them and go see what the Holy Spirit tell you yeah. more about yeah. and prophesy. Yeah, I feel like there's actually someone watching that you've been hurt in, in church Come on. and um, it's discouraged you, but you've maintained, you've stayed in your ministry and yes. you continue to push forward and you're doing it for God, but you're having so much trouble continuing forward. And I feel like the Lord is saying that he's leading you to a place of forgiveness because the Lord is saying freely receive, freely give. And even though you've been hurt, the Lord says he's forgiven you for a lot of your sins. Just because someone hurt you doesn't matter. The Lord is saying focus on your purpose and your calling goes further beyond anything that's happened to you in the natural. And I just feel like the Lord is saying begin to dig deep, begin to dig deep, and the Lord is going to heal a lot of those the brokenness that you've yes. carried, and the Lord is going to start to use you yes. like never before. I even feel like you it's hard for you to hear the voice of God. It's been a, a long season where you're operating, and maybe even you're a youth pastor, and you can't hear the voice of God, and you've just been teaching out of like your, your physical gift, but the Lord is saying, I want you to be used spiritually again. And even in the supernatural, as we're praying now, I feel like the Lord is saying, he's reviving that gift of the supernatural in your life, where you're going to pray for the sick and heal the sick, and the Lord is going to use you to do yeah. wondrous, miraculous things sure. that you haven't done in a long time. Okay, keep prophesying upon um, those young leaders and youth leaders. I, I, I do feel that there's leaders that are frustrated. Sure. There's leaders that, that have been waiting a long time for a breakthrough. Mm-hmm. And I'm just hearing, of, I'm, I'm just seeing, I'm, I'm just feel a verse from the Lord saying, those who wait on the Lord shall Amen. renew their strength. Uh-huh. And I just really feel like a lot of you have been in a waiting season. And I feel like discouragement, yes, so maybe not hurt, yes. but discouragement, maybe feeling like you're waiting around, maybe feel like you're yeah. purposeless. Maybe feeling like, like, like there's not, there's like, I even feel like some of you have asked yourself, is this it? Is this all that there is? But I even just feel like the Holy Spirit is introducing you to a new side of him. Amen. Holy Spirit, I just pray yes. right now, Lord, Jesus. Lord, reveal Jesus. Yes. Reveal yes. Jesus yes. into their lives, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Reveal Jesus, Lord. Reveal Jesus, yes. Lord. Lord, the, your word says that those who believe, you shall come and you shall reveal yourself to them. Yes. Lord, and I just yes. ask you, and I just hear the Lord. I just even see the verse saying, uh, you cannot please God without faith. Yes. And a lot of you guys have yes. lost 
lost faith, yeah, have course. lost faith in, in, in your purpose, have lost faith in your call, mm -hmm. have lost faith in your leadership, have lost faith oh, in even the people course. that you lead, have lost faith in, in, in your job, mm -hmm. has lost faith even in God and what God can do in your life. Oh, and I just feel like oh, in order to please the Lord, like it says in Romans, in order to please the Lord, you so have to have you have to have faith to please the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like God is just quickening up your spirit. And if that's you, I just want you to just extend your hands over to the screen. Yes, Holy so Spirit, I ask you, Jesus, yes. you, Jesus. Lord, stir them up, God. Yes. Lord, wake up, Jesus. Wake yes. up, Lord. Wake up. Yes. I just hear God saying, wake up. Wake up that spirit. Wake up your spirit. Wake up your heart, your mind. Anything that has been asleep or dormant, because you've been waiting because either you got bored or you got you've been waiting or you got discouraged or or there's been disappointment after disappointment after disappointment any frustration i just feel like god is bringing a new breath of yes. life holy spirit lord lord breathe holy spirit breathe upon every leader upon every leader that's watching me today lord and lord holy spirit just breathe new life jesus right now breathe new life into their hearts into their minds lord in the name of jesus and i just feel a love I just I, I'm perceiving a love yes, a love Thank for the God. Lord yes, a Lord. love for his people Thank a you, love Jesus. for him and yeah. his word yeah. uh, Lord right now in the name of Jesus Lord I just Lord release love Jesus a love for him a love for his people a love for his presence a love yeah. for his voice Father right now just release Lord release that love Lord upon every leader right now in the name yes, of Jesus, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, God. if you're watching right now and you never be baptized with the Holy Spirit Jesus said, I don't want you to leave uh, disciples until you and you receive the power. Yeah. In other words, the basis to be in ministry is not to be graduated from college. Yeah. Which is good to do. Yes. I'm not saying that is bad. This is good to do. The basis and the criteria to be in ministry is to be anointed with the Holy Spirit and power. So one of the signs is that you will speak in other tongues. And I'm going to pray for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Lift Jesus your hands where you are. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I ask you to be poured out at homes, in the houses, hotels, in, in the car, whatever people are watching right now, be filled with the Holy Ghost and Power. Yes. Empower. Yes. Be filled with the Holy Ghost and power. Father, I give you praise. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost and power. Fresh in feeling of the Holy Spirit come upon you. In every young person, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. I got a book here called uh, Divine Encounter with the Holy Spirit. This is a powerful book. And I talk about the person, the things of the Spirit, the necessity of the Holy Spirit. And this is the latest book called End Time Shaking and Revival. And I know many of you have heard what is happening in the world. So I think you need this book. How do you respond to a shaking in your personal life? How do you respond when the Holy Spirit start coming upon your life and your right. ministry and your church? End time shaking, end time revival. Be prepared for this end time revival. This is so powerful. So guys, and he has another book. It's called the. It's red and blue. It's called Baptism in the Holy Spirit. You can find it in our in our in our in our yes. online store. Mm -hmm. That book is powerful as well yeah. it's I, I highly recommend it um I, you, I think you have a couple books on the Holy Spirit, <laughs> but um th this book is great as well and uh, we just encourage you on that and also those books are great too but do not forget that in order to tap into the holy spirit and to know the holy spirit and to know the lord you need to read the word <laughs> this is the best book you can buy that's the, the best Bible. book that you can ever get <laughs> these are great and guess what these these books will probably lead to that book but regardless um thank you dad again thank yeah, you for being here thank you thank this you. was great i we didn't expect this to happen but that's how the holy spirit works right? <laughs> I, I think we're gonna do one more thing come on the holy spirit remind me those people that don't know jesus okay oh, yeah, yeah, yeah lead them into christ yeah if you don't know if you don't know if you don't know Jesus today I just want I just want to 
Yes. I just want to invite you today. Yes. If you say, man, Ronald, I don't have the Holy Spirit, but I don't have Jesus either. I don't have God. I don't have, I, I don't know, I don't know anything about God. I don't know anything. And I, and I just feel like I, I need that Jesus. I need that Holy Spirit. I need all of it. I need the whole thing. Uh, if, if you, if you there today and you feel like, hey, I, I don't have Jesus. I don't have God in my life Shut and I need shit. him. Or, or, or you say, man, but I'm too sh- ashamed and, or I'm too guilty yeah, or I feel like God won't forgive me for what I did or or you have hurt in your heart and you're saying man but I don't I don't feel like God will deal with me I have too much baggage listen yes, God God goes after everyone there's not one person that the Lord doesn't go after. And the Lord has such a love that this is the reason why he, the God the Father yeah. sent Jesus to yes, die on the cross yes, yes. was for you and was for me. Mm-hmm. And if that's you and you say, man, I really do feel, I really do feel like that's me. I really do feel like I need to I mm-hmm. need to say yes to this. I mm-hmm. want to invite you to do a prayer with me. Wait, Ron, before you have them, I also feel like there's people watching that you haven't, like you've been away from God and the Lord is calling you back and this podcast really Come encountered on. you today. Yes. And you're saying, yeah, I, I've known God my whole life, but I really want to get deeper with the Lord. I feel like the Lord is calling you to also jump in on this prayer and make a decision in your heart to live for the Lord. Come on. Go ahead, Ron. If, if that's you, if you feel like you need to run to God or you need to run back to God, like yeah. Thomas said, I just want to invite you to do this prayer with me. Yeah. just want you to close your eyes just so you don't get distracted. But just repeat this after prayer after me. Say, Father God, Father God I, ask I ask you today to forgive me, to forgive me. Of, all my sins. of all my sins. I ask you today, ask you Lord, today. I, repent I repent of all my sins. Of all my sins. And, I today, and I ask you today, Lord, I invite you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. I break any pact with the Lord, with my flesh, and with with the devil. I'm sorry, not with, with, I'm sorry. With the devil and with my flesh. And I ask you today, forgive me. If I open my eyes, I know. And I, I know that I will, I will be in your arms. I accept you, Jesus, in my heart this day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We love you guys. Thank you guys uh, hope you guys ha- enjoyed this. If you want a part two, let us know. Yeah. And or a part three or a part four. <laughs> Dad, you gotta come back, Dad. <laughs> um, he said, "Yeah." But See? we enjoyed no, it. <laughs> we had a great time. And Dad, thank you again for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Really for appreciate you. this. Yeah. And, Proud of uh, you guys. Thank you, Dad. Amen. Um, but yeah, we love you guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>